hi everyone in this short video I'm going to well the fact is I snipe other people's product I look around do my own research so in this video I'm going to actually show you my own product and what I'm selling and what I managed to sell last month or this month really and the last month probably um, July June July 2018 right so this is my account this is my um, shop thingy will be okay so let's go okay as you can see this is me here like okay this means view buy sell second hand okay this is my shop almost 1300 feedback power seller um uh, what's the other word power seller top rated seller blah 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 all the rest of it okay now as you can see i always mainly sell second hand stuff pick them up in car boot sell and equal uh, in the state you probably um, you call them a uh, garage sale and flea sale and that kind of type of stuff right i've been a bit lazy lately so i'm going to go through them there's an old VT vintage phone. I picked that up for a pound and went for thirteen sixty-five. And again, if you can get hold of British Telecom cordless phones, they're sought after. Look, this one I paid four quid. It went for twenty-one fifty-four. A pair of Adidas top. I don't know how much I accepted there. I think I accepted uh, lesser than what it is there on there. So. A pair of jeans and Converse's are I sell them all the time. Nike, these are paid to four quid for them, went for fifteen twenty three. Again, look, Panasonic cordless cordless telephones are great item to sell. So if you can get hold of them in a car boot sell, you sell them at any time. Look. Make sure they're working, by the way, and they're in good condition. If not, clean them up. The best thing to do is clean them up, use a baby wipe or damp cloth, clean them up properly, use a little brush, clean them up, make sure they work in perfect condition and then you can achieve that kind of price. This one here, I paid a bit over the top for this Panasonic, I paid 7 quid, I got 20 quid back. Right, um, there you go, pair of um, Nike zoom sp zoom now this was this as soon as i bought this pair went straight away for 29.39 i paid a bit slightly be over the top but anyway i got it back 12 quid i paid for it so think about it again now there's another thing you can always look for when you go in a car boot sale early learning, early learning center cd sing-along karaoke player i've i've sold them few over the years you know it's a very instant instant seller now there we are look for if you can get remote control look for them and make sure they're working look this sony uh, remote control for audio and video dvd sat nav or sat sorry sorry sat nav what am i talking about satellite tv sat tv um peter Paid a pound for it, went for twelve fifty. Right, what's the next one? Oh, a pair of uh, old Saint jeans, right. I tried selling clothes and it's not working for me, so I don't bother with clothes now because I get sick and tired of it. You pay, you get great, great brands and do all your stuff and they don't sell well. You know, I got Diesel, um, Levi's, this, that and... I'm going to be bored with it, so I don't try hard enough to sell it. So, so I'm giving a miss on clothes inside. But hopefully, I should start again. Converse. Now, this is this view listing is very, uh, very interesting. I'm trying to diverse my trading onto uh, a slight thing called drop shipping or product sourcing. Is cool. eBay don't try to use eBay uses the term product sourcing. It's basically the same thing as drop shipping, but they use the term product sourcing. Okay, so I tried it. 
couple of stuff this summer, July 2018, and I was, I could not believe it. These swimming type of plastic pools, right? These outdoor water swimming, swimming tubs. And I managed to look, look at that, how many are sold. And this is another another thing I tried, it's a thermostat for night light. And another swimming look, and another one. So it proves that um, people actually, it does work. If you're good and if you know what you're doing, drop shipping does work, product sourcing does work, but the, there's always a, a pros and cons. You know, the anxiety is you go into other other web uh, other sites, other platform, then you order the product, and you have a curiosity behind your mind that at this sending the product in time is it gone in time the customer feedbacks and there's a lot of things involved so anxiety always sets in whether you're going to get a bad feedback from the customer was you know unless you try it you you know this was just to proof of concept and it does work and i might try in the future and it did work so i guess we had a hot weather in in the uk last couple of months 2018 july June, July, so that's why I managed to sell a couple of these quickly. And as soon as I sold a couple of those, this platform raised their price up and it wasn't worth for me to sell it anymore, so I stopped. Right. Now we have here something called, do you remember the South African World Cup? Um, Baba Zula. Bubu Zula or Babu Zula. The trumpet. Now I think I undersold that. I picked it up for a pound. Now that went for 9.95, but I could have easily get a bit more. And I think I know a seller popped it up, an eBay seller, reseller popped, bought it, and he's gonna pump this up a bit. And good luck to him. There's another pair of look. Now um, all of these are branded Nike shoes. Uh, I picked them up for this one. Yeah, generally I pay for between four pounds and eight quid. It's very rare that I'll pay 10, 12 quid for them. Converse is always a good seller in the summertime. Pick this pair up for six quid, went for 29.99. It depends on the condition, the amount of money I pay. Like, and another thing, if you're thinking of, excuse me, buying trainers, these are, I can sell them all day long, right? And these these shoes are wedge shoe, a high top wedge. Ladies trainers, right? If you get them Nike or any other brand, you sell them instantly. Right. This is another pair of Nike. Picked it up for six quid, one for twenty one ninety nine. And luckily, I saw that pair of trousers here. A pants they call them in America. Now these are good sell if you manage to get this uh, vintage soup bowl right these are with the oh um what are these let's click on yeah the mushroom and crotons and yes scotch booth i think they're called yeah scotch booth yeah, these are with with the uh, recipe on them. Now I sold them time after time after time, so they're a good seller. And there we go, another pair of, sorry, yeah, BT telephone here. And these are... Um, Mm, baseball caps, I can sell them all day long. You know, they're a good seller. Pick them up, good condition, pay between two quid, two fifty. Don't pay more than three pounds. 
and I used to sell them for 12.95 now I dropped it to 9.99 even a good sell yeah again trainers now I did a jumble sell of a job lot here because I'd be fed up with these small toys not selling so I bundled them up together put 450 on postage and that went for 13.95 obviously those item they are worth more than what I paid for but I just want to get rid of them so I got rid of them another pair of night there I again baseball cap shoes so I try to convince most of the time on on trainers now rather than any other stuff and this is interesting now this is a cognac martel bottle if you do get them vintage bottles pick them up I paid five quid, got my money back, not much profit there, but I got the money back, so that's that's okay. Right. And again BT answer phone. Yeah, I picked that up for two quid, eleven quid back, trainers. Um I used to sell a lot of it Timberland now. Um dropped in sale a bit, so I don't so I stay away from Timberland now the for the time being. Converses again, and that's about it. So, another piece of advice for you guys and girls out there if you pick up, for example, let me go, let me show you something. Okay, All right, here we are. For example, you picked up a, a BT or a Panasonic or whatever, a, a telephone, for example right and cordless telephone for example now you, you bring it home and the, the sellers or uh, sellers or the vendors will tell you it works and all the rest of it and you're in a car boot cell there's no way you can check it out you have to take their word for it okay so you bring it home and then you find out it's not working great so what do you do for example you paid five six quid for it so what do you do you want to stick in a dustbin you want to stick it in a trash bin? No, you don't do that. What you do, if the phone's not working, that's fine. If the handset's not working, that's no problem. Sell the base separate, the base. You can sell the base separate. You can sell the charger separate and you make twice as much as selling it in a bundle. So make sure you always think outside the box. So sell it um individually like you can sell the base you can sell the charger and the people out there are buying original pt british telecom chargers bases so you don't have to worry about it. so don't, don't don't worry about it just sell the accessories so i hope this video has given you a bit of thought and yeah Please click like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching all of our, all of my other videos. And have to do another one. I haven't done any pickup videos lately because I, I've been lazy lately. So next time I pick up a pickup video, I'll do you one. Thank you so much.